In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to record a multi-track MIDI song using GarageBand and a keyboard. So first of all, just make sure that you've got a, a keyboard hooked up to your laptop or your computer using a USB cable. For this tutorial, I'm using a Yamaha PSR423, and I've just got it hooked up to my MacBook Pro using a, an ordinary USB MIDI cable. So the first thing we're going to do is open up a new project in GarageBand and I'm going to select keyboard and click on choose, give it a name, we'll just call this test1 and open your file and GarageBand will open automatically. So just to say one thing, there's a three-step process when you're hooking up a keyboard to your laptop or your computer. First of all, make sure your keyboard is switched off and GarageBand is closed. Then hook your USB cable into the back of your keyboard and plug it into your USB port on your computer. Then switch on the keyboard and finally open GarageBand. If you do it in this sequence, the laptop will pick up the MIDI interface, but if you do it any other way, it won't actually pick up the MIDI interface, so just be careful of that. Okay. So as we can see here, we've got a couple of tracks that we're going to work with. We've got a grand piano sound, electric piano, classic organ, and so on, on the left side of the screen. And on the right, we have all of our other sounds that we can use, like drum kits, guitars, um, synth sounds, and so on. So we're going to just lay down a simple four or five track song. And I'm going to begin by recording the piano part. And I'm going to make sure my metronome is on so I can keep time. And so I'll click record and I'll just start playing. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that lasts how how long? We'll just check it. It's a one minute piece. Okay, so we're going to go back to the beginning. And I'm going to switch the electric piano sound to a bass sound. So I'll just select one here. So I'm going to use the attitude bass, and I'll just begin recording this as well. So just select the, the bass track, press record, and here we go. Okay, simple bass track recorded. Now we'll add a couple of drum sounds. So I'm going to switch the third track into a drum kit. And we'll try out this one, see what it sounds like. Cavern kit. 
sounds pretty good, so we'll start recording now. Okay, so that's the first part of the drums recorded. I'm just going to add some hi-hat and snare on another track, and we'll stick with this cavern drum kit just for consistency. And I'm just going to use something like this to add a little bit of texture to the drum track. Alright, so now we've got all our drums recorded. I'm going to add a little bit of strings in the background and finally we'll add a, a solo track. So let's just select a nice string sound here. Let's try orchestral strings, see what they sound like. A little harsh, so we'll try reflective. We'll go with lunar strings, it sounds okay. So and the great thing about GarageBand is that after you've recorded your track, you can just switch the voice to something else if you feel like changing it. Okay, let's try and record this strings track. Okay, that's pretty good. And finally, we're just going to add a, a solo melody track using one of the synth pads. Okay, so let's see. Let's try and find a nice one here. Bit too harsh, maybe. Let's try it. That sounds pretty good. Okay, we'll we'll just try and ad lib a little bit of solo on top of this.
go, we get a nice textured sound. I'm going to switch off the metronome now and just select all of my tracks by pressing Command A then pull them back to the start. And I'm just going to quantize these because while I was playing, I was playing slightly out of time at, at certain moments. So we can use the quantize feature in GarageBand, which is one of the beauties of using MIDI to record these. And um, if we double click on any of these tracks, you get this window, the piano roll. And at the bottom left, you've got a quantize option. Drop down menu, and you can choose whichever speed of note you wish. So for example, I wasn't really playing anything faster than a 16th note. So if I select 16th, it's going to round all of the notes off to the nearest 16th beat. If I was playing much faster melody or anything, I could increase the speed of the notes, but 1 16th should do fine for this. Um, so I'll select that and just go back to my track and let's have a listen to the whole thing. So this has been a very basic and quick introduction to using GarageBand and a MIDI keyboard to record a multi-track song.